Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jameson Bullard, and today I will be showing you the best way to find your iPhone when it is on silent or vibrate. What this allows you to do is receive a special code message through text message or iMessage, and your phone will ring whether it is on silent or vibrate. Uh, you will require three things. First, you will require a jailbroken iDevice. Second, um, the original messaging app location that comes with your iDevice. You cannot use a third-party app. And thirdly, you will need Activator. So let's jump right into Cydia. And down at the bottom right, you will see a magnifying glass. I'm going to need to tap that and search for Activator. Up at the top right, it'll show Install. You're going to click that and it will bring up this interface and you're going to tap confirm after you have installed that and resprung your device you will need to open up your device and go into settings scroll down until you find activator tap anywhere and at the, up at the top right tap edit scroll down until you have found received message now you can do a specified sender, so only my iPod can make my phone ring. But the reason why I would not want to do that is because if I don't have my iPod with me, I will not be able to find my phone. So I'm not going to do that, I'm going to leave it blank. But if you leave it blank, you'll want to come up with something that no one else would send you randomly. So I'm going to come up with AM ring for action message ring. And ring would be the action. So, you're going to tap save, done, scroll down to you have found AM ring, or whatever you assigned it. Uh, first, you'll have to come down to switches, and in parentheses, activate, and find ringer. Select that, and then come up to ringtones and choose what ringtone you want. I'm going to use CBS Alert because that is loud and obnoxious and I will certainly find it. And make sure it shows multiple in the parentheses with the ringer and the red application icon in the background. So after that you are pretty much set. I'm going to go ahead and send the AM ring from my iPod. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that I'm going to put my phone on silent. Okay, I've sent a message. And now we wait. Okay, see it shows ringer enabled. And now it shows the actual message. I am back, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to be showing you the end result. So what I have here is my iPhone 4S and my iPod Touch second generation, which is what I'm going to be using to send the message to my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and put my phone on silent. As you can see, it is not. So I put it on silent, and now I'm just going to send a regular message that says, hey. And once we receive the message, it will not ring or do anything. As you can see, I just got the message and nothing rang. It is definitely on silent. It's not really focused, but you can you can see the red, you can tell. So now I'm going to send a simple AM ring, in all lowercase. For some reason it wants to autocorrect to An Antony or Antony. It's still on silent. And we just got the message. Uh, it would not want to focus. But it shows AM ring and is very loud and obnoxious. And oh, now it wants to shut up. Um, so you can see that definitely works. And uh, 
if you lose it anywhere in the house or anywhere where you think you can hear it, that's that's the perfect way to find your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and give it one more one more test. So uh, what that did was it enabled it and then rang. Well, after it, en it enabled it, it stays enabled until you switch the flip or <laughs> you switch the flip two times. No, you flip the switch two times and it'll go back to silent. So I'm going to send hey and the ringer will still be activated when I receive the message. So you're going to want yeah. the ringer on and turn it off and it'll, it'll vibrate so oops. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it is on silent. And once we see the message, vibrates. So I'm just going to show you one more time just to blow your minds a second time. So, in our case, AM ring, make sure you don't accidentally send. Anthony or Antony, however you say it. And it's still on silent. Ring. No? No? Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Still on silent. So yes, uh, I'm gonna wait until it shuts up. Okay, that is pretty much it. Um, I really hope you liked my tutorial. Uh, I actually looked this up on Google and YouTube to see if there's anything like it, and I haven't found anything like it yet, except for the Android. There's only one video on Android, and that was like a uh, newscast or whatever. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this and let y'all know my secret. Um, I also have another thing coming out where um, if you love to control your iDevice using VNC uh, with VNC Viewer or something like that uh, on your PC, you'll realize that it's really laggy or the frame rate is very, very low and it's, it's not enjoyable. So uh, I will show y'all how to get perfect frame rate depending on your uh, system, on your PC system and your internet connection. But uh, yes, I will be re releasing that video soon after I post this one. So uh, I hope you guys liked it and you can hit that like button if you uh, if you want some more great tutorials. Uh, subscribe and I'll, I'll be posting some new great ones. So uh, thanks for watching.